everybody, Garrett Claridge here. It is a perfectly shitty Canadian day, and I'm out in my backyard going to rescue a couple Sony speakers, if I remember correctly, because today's video is all about those cheap sort of boombox speakers. Here they are. Let's see what they are. The other Sonys. So I'm using this weird selfie stick thing. It's kind of fun. <laughs> So I was using these speakers as an outdoor system this summer and I actually just put a couple shingles on top to waterproof them. Looks like it worked very well actually. So I haven't taken you guys into my back cottage for a while. I'm not sure if anything's very different in here. A lot of birds squawking today. All the power still works, and I already see something I want. There is a pair of speakers in here. <laughs> I don't know what these are, but they're going in this video too, definitely. Despite all that, your mother told you, when you were both still young men, yeah. that you need to look out for your older brother. Why would she say that? What was her concern about, about Ted? It actually began with a question from me. I think I was maybe eight or nine years old. JBC. I have a little bit of an audio equipment graveyard going on back here. Here's my classic old shed. Just full of crap. Can't even walk in there. Oh, we see me? in this ridiculous camera. <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on with this selfie stick thing. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the studio and we have this gigantic pile of micro system speakers going on here. It's actually making my table bend a little bit. <laughs> now, I'm not too sure which ones I want to mess with first, so I'm going to be taking this dart right here and going across my room and seeing which one it hits. <laughs> Alright, so we got our first victim and it's actually this blue Sony one right here. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I thought it was magic for a second there. Now these speakers bring back some memories for me because my old elementary school, like uh, kindergarten to grade six, they had a pair of these and the micro system that matched in their gymnasium and it sounded horrible. I remember being a kid and just thinking how bad this sounded. And the tweeters lasted about like a month. touched. Thank <laughs> you. 
nice. All right, what's next? Let's go with one of these black RCAs. These were actually given to me after I did that intro, the beginning of this video. Oh! <laughs> I don't even need a hammer for these ones. The tweeter on this was fake. Alright, let's check out one of these JVCs that I grabbed out of my cottage. Okay, let's go with one of these Kevlar friggin uh, RCA ones. They're bi-amped. Now I get requests for both messing with the speaker and leaving the speaker alone. So this one I'm gonna just not mess with it, you know what I mean? Just let it blow up, sort of say. <laughs> Shit, what was that? The top section. Ah, oh, right away. There's the woofer, and now we just have this piezo tweeter. And I don't like blowing the piezo tweeters with my amplifier because it's like a dead short, and it's really not good for them. I've wrecked a lot of amplifiers like that. Oh nice, this is labeled jump sound. All right, let's move on to one of these Sonys I grabbed from outside. Oh, they're pretty heavy. Probably absorbed a little bit of water though. Oh my god! <laughs> these guys spit their coils too. Let's dig into one of these with the titanium plated woofer. If you take a close look at these things, there's actually two different colors of silver.
short it out. I'm seeing smoke coming out the pool. Surprise that piezo tweeter is real. <laughs> Ow. Pinched my finger. Let's do another RCA, but I want this one. <laughs> I might have finally figured out how to pop these stupid things. So I'm going to mess around with the mids and highs first, and then I'm going to smash into here so we can see that subwoofer. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Gave it a little shot of bass there. Oh man, you can feel the piezo tweeter vibrate. There's like no uh, no capacitor on there or no uh, crossover. That's a piezo tweeter playing bass. <laughs> Let's do another one of these things. Another flimsy RCA, how about that? <laughs> Fake tweeter. <laughs> This port might be fake. 
Yeah, I think it's fake. <laughs> So since my pets came to see what was going on, we have Mia, the black dog, here, and then Misty, this big fluffy cat. I'm going to let Misty pick out the next speaker. I'm just going to stand back and see what she goes to. Then it seems the cat is most interested in this black Sony. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well that one was short lived. Oh yeah, smoke pouring out of here. <laughs> Wonder what I should mess with next. Another RCA. We do have four of these damn things. You can see the coils all spitting out. <laughs> Pretty well every one of the speakers this video has spit their coils out. Now something to mention about these, they're actually wired out of phase of each other. These are two different models and 
They look like they're wired correctly, although you fire them up on the same signal and they're going out of phase. I'm pretty sure this is the one that's having the problem. Really weird though. This is something really important to look out for if you're mixing and matching speakers. Even if you just had these four, they'd be out of phase of each other and that would be no good at all. Awesome. Okay, so we're getting down to our last few speaker cabinets here and I wanted to try something a little different. Someone gave me this uh, digital drum pad sort of thing and uh, well it's an older one but it should do the trick for what I want to do. Oh my god. Yeah, that has a lot of background noise. This thing is very old. It's a Yamaha DD5. There's not that many sounds to go with. Ah. This is totally different than a real drum set. So, uh. Okay, okay, okay. more cowbell. <laughs> this gave me a bad idea. Uh, nope. Fuck! Ha! <laughs> oh boy. Now this is touchy. <laughs> okay, I'm having too much fun with this thing now. <laughs> this thing's so shitty. Missing this stupid thing. Wow. Wow. Oh, that thing's melted right in there. Holy crap.
Nice! See if this tweeter still works. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's time for our grand finale here. We have these two Phillips speakers left. Now the cat and the dog keep on coming back in here every time I turn the music off. That is a pain. The dust caps were a little sun spun. Alright, so I'm hooking these up together, and I'm also going to turn the uh, gain on the amplifier all the way up. Oh, this one's locked right up. Yeah, they're both locked up. We just got the tweeters now. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes. <laughs> oh, short my amp out. So it looks like I finally got through this pile of plastic crap. <laughs> now I'd like to hear from you guys. If you had to choose any of the speakers that I blew up today, what would it be? My personal favorites, I think, are these. These little Sonys here. These did fairly well. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.